Most people sending cold emails are burning through cash and they don't even realize it. They're spending $7 per inbox on Google Workspace, sending a few hundred emails a day and wondering why nothing's landing or they can't get a client. The brutal truth is your emails probably aren't landing in the inbox or you're simply just not sending enough. They're going straight to spam or just getting blocked completely. And you can't scale your outreach if every inbox is going to just keep constantly costing you more money, especially when that inbox is useless if the emails don't get delivered properly. And this is the part on YouTube that no one even talks about. So just for a second, forget your templates or your subject lines or your offer, because if your emails aren't even reaching your prospect's inbox, none of that matters. From what I've seen, I'm the only person that's actually running my own email infrastructure. Warmed inboxes, my own dedicated IP, deliverability tested, inbox placement, dialed in. And today I'm just going to show you exactly how I do it so you can scale your outreach properly without getting robbed by Google or landing in spam. Just basically how to do it extremely cheap and extremely effectively. So let's get involved. I'll show you the setup and how to do it later in the video. First, I just want to debunk a few myths, right? Deliverability isn't just about avoiding spammy words or it isn't just about spin tax. The real factors are how warmed up your inboxes are, how old your domain is, the IP that you're sending from are the dns records set up correctly there's a whole bunch of different factors it's not just what your copy is what your subject line is how many spam words you have in there so if i just show you this um this is a test i done with mail scale using their infrastructure and this was just literally the weekend just gone um using my own infrastructure now just a quick disclaimer obviously take this with a pinch of salt right it's not 100% accurate. But as you can see, obviously 43 landing in spam here out of only 853. I sent double and only two landing in spam with my own infrastructure. Right now, yeah, again, a disclaimer, take this with a pinch of salt. It's not a direct, true representation of how your inbox is or how your emails will land, um, but it gives you some sort of vague idea, right? Now imagine doubling this, it probably would be at 90% and it would be at 10% or so landing in spam. And that's not good enough. That's still, what, 43 people there that I haven't been able to reach and who could potentially even 10% would have um, got them on a call potentially, right? And there's four people, if my maths is right, which it is, <laughs> four people uh, I've missed out on, right? Potential money leaving on the table. So that just shows how important it is to get your deliverability right. The more people you reach, the more chance you have of getting on a call with them, the more chance you have of closing, a dot, or closing that deal, the more money you're potentially going to get, right? But that's just a sort of representation or an example of of my infrastructure compared to the likes of mail scale. Now, I know there's people out there, um, people like me who talk a lot on YouTube and try and help a lot of people out and also um, charge for you know, like a community or an online course to help people. I know there's people who do the same who say, oh, just get Google Workspace. But if you were to look at this, Google Workspace £5.90 per user, which is probably about $7. Outlook is £8.49 per user. You can't scale like that, right? So if you've got 10 mailboxes, that's £59, right? 10 mailboxes with Google Workspace is £59. You can send 300 emails a day with that. Are you going to be able to get your first client really quickly doing that? Absolutely not. OK, you need to have 100 emails, right? No, you need to have a minimum of 50 to be able to scale and send at least 10,000 emails a month. Are you going to get clients like that? Absolutely. Meetings booked, um, re positive reply rates, your chances of actually closing a client and getting five, getting a lot more money per month is a lot more on my infrastructure compared to Google Workspace or stuff like that. So I suppose enough chat. I'll actually show you how it's done. So all you need is two things. You need a Spark Post and MX route. Now, the reason I have these two is because SpotPost is going to send the emails out. It's going to be our SMTP server, but we need still need something to receive the emails and SpotPost doesn't allow you to set up your own inboxes per domain. So we have to set up something. We have to we have to use an infrastructure to actually allow us to set up email boxes within a domain and allow us to receive emails. Now, if you're aware of instantly, you actually get a unibox. So you'll be sending the emails instantly 
how do I describe this? So instantly we'll be sending out the emails on your behalf or on Spark Post's behalf. So we'll be sending out instantly we'll send out the emails from spark post and then when emails come in they'll be landing in the your your personal inbox for whatever inbox it is that you send the emails out with but it'll all be landing within instantly's unibox so you've got everything unified for you to actually reply uh, track you know whatever it is you need to do well reply with with emails is all you need to do so you still here are running the risk of, um, you know, cold email deliverability. You need DNS record to set up absolutely perfectly. So that's your SPF, DKIM and DMARC. SPF is literally just to like a signature. No, DKIM is your like a signature to show that you're um, verified to that e uh, email address. <laughs> um SPF is like is, is to send the emails and the DMARC is your sort of security policy, so to speak. You don't actually need to worry about them really or what they do, but I'll just show you how I do it. So I'll log into SparkPost EU because I'm based in the EU. And I'll show you what this dashboard looks like. You can see my summary report, how many emails are sort of sent per day, which seems to be around 1,100, 1,300, etc., etc. So, um, oh no, this is a time. So every two hours, <laughs> I send 1,300. So I'm sending quite a lot a day. So if we actually see how many I send a day. Okay, so this is one day one random day last week, I sent 4,000 emails a day, right? I'm going to do a video soon about the amount of money I made last week from scaling my outreach. Um, so you'll see that coming on the, on the channel soon. But if you want to make money, you need to reach out to more people. Cold email is a volume game, okay? It's law of averages. The more people you reach to, the more people, the more likely you are to get a yes, the more likely you are to get them on a call, the more likely you are to close that deal, the more likely you are to get five, 10, 15 clients a month. Easy as that. But how do you do this cheaply? So I use something called Spark Post. Now, if we go on the Spark Post pricing, my advice to you and to my people in the community is to get a dedicated IP. So pay $75 per month. You can send 100,000 emails a month, which should be more than enough um, and get a dedicated IP because SparkPost won't suspend you. You are in full control. The reason they suspend you if you were on, say, a shared IP, something like this, is because Instantly's warm-up feature, which you'll probably be using to warm up your email inboxes, they send you know, they send sort of the same email to different people, right? To their warm up, their, their own warm up pool of inboxes. Now, some emails seem very similar. It gets flagged with Spark Post. They think this doesn't look right. Um, let's suspend him. You can obviously get it unsuspended by just mentioning that you were warming up your inboxes using um, a third party warm up tool that have sort of the same inboxes today. It'll make complete sense to them. But to, ju to just, you know, to not come up with any issues you want a dedicated ip and that is just going to have full control over your sending so you press select and you'd get set up and it would bring you to something like this okay you'd get your smtp settings which you'd put into a spreadsheet etc etc so we've got everything ready in terms of our sending smtp server but we need somewhere where we can just set up unlimited inboxes so this is where this comes in you'll be able to host your domains this costs 49 dollars for the year unlimited domains unlimited email accounts so just the same as google workspace you'd set up a, you'd buy a domain and you set up three um three mailboxes that will cost you $21 let's say but with this setup for $75 per month you can have unlimited so let's say you buy 10 domains you've got 30 email accounts there or 30 to 40 email accounts there that you have for $75 a month so you did that with google workspace that's $210 per month 
Okay, so this is the cheapest and most effective way. You'd get started and it would look a little bit like this. This is what you get set up with. So you go into domain setup, you'd buy your domain and say name cheap or something like that. And you would put it into here and you just um, set up a domain. You'd add new, you'd add it in here. Then once you've added the domain, you go into email manager, email accounts, create account, and you just create an account like that. Create a password and, pre and, create, and press create account easy as that okay and you've got your as you can see here i've got a load of email uh, accounts set up easy peasy now one thing is that we're gonna have to set up the dns records again with google workspace that will take you at least 10 to 20 minutes to set up the set up all the dns records and get it set up so what do i do i automate it now the way this works is that you'll go onto namecheap you log in you go on domains and you search for a domain you find a new domain once you've bought it you'll go into here or say once you've bought 10 domains whatever it is you want they cost about eight quid i think per domain so it's still a bit of an investment probably about a hundred dollars but once you've bought it you'll go into here you'll press one run once what this will do will add that domain into spark post so automatically we'll add it into here so you don't need to do anything it will add the bounce domain as well which is great for deliverability it will update the DNS records within Namecheap and it will verify the domain. So before you know it, you've got um, your domain set up with all the correct DNS records. You've got everything added in here. All you then need to do is go into here, add the domains, create the email accounts, put them into a spreadsheet, which I'll show you what it looks like right now. You'll click into this or you'll download it with the CSV is probably better. But if you click into this, I saw a look. You'll, every time you create an email, you'll put it in there. Obviously this is within a Google Sheets or Excel spreadsheet. You'll put the first name, last name, the username, which is just the email address and the password that you created when you've created an account, this password here, you'll press create account and it'll give you everything. And essentially what you do is you just fill it all in. The SMTP password is the API key, is your API key. And you literally just go onto instantly. You press add new. I'm up SMTP bulk import. You download the CSV, you drag it in there, and it adds in every single email account, right? So let's do some maths. How much is a domain? Centrix AIAIAI.com. Okay. For some reason, nothing's working right now, but. Uh, I think it's about eight pound per domain. So let's say eight pound and you're going to buy 15. That's 120 quid. Okay. So 120 quid for your, for your domains, which you'd have to do anyway with anyone. Okay. So you'd have to do it with Google, whatever it is. You still have to buy the domain. So we've bought, a, we've bought 15 domains, cost us 120 pounds, maybe about $150. Then we, we've bought MX Root, which is another $49. So let's say that's $200 and that's it. So $200 one off and then $75 a month. So $275. You've now got probably over 50 email accounts. You've got everything set up really quickly with the automation and you've added them into instantly. Now let's say you had to do that with Google Workspace. It's $150 for the domain plus $210 a month. <laughs> so you're at $360 already with $210 coming out per month for, that's just for 30 inboxes as well. That's not scalable. Guys, if you want to scale and you want to completely um, increase your chances of closing the client and you want to get a client so much quicker, this is what you need to do. You need to buy your domains, set up the DNS records automatically using an automation like so. Get your um, whole deliverability infrastructure correct use a dedicated ip get them added into instantly warm them up for three weeks happy days you're gonna be absolutely flying and the great thing is you can just if you wanted to you can get clients onto it you can set this up completely for them for full done for you service if you're selling a lead gen automation get everything set up for them increase the price a little bit bish bash bash bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt happy days money 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 scale 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 that's about it <laughs> but yeah that is it that's my that's my email infrastructure um not many people are using this at the moment a lot of gurus are telling you your automation gurus are telling you to reach out with google workspace and outlook it's pointless right 
Outlook, maybe. That might be a good idea if you had the money because Outlook to Outlook would be great because Microsoft a bit harder to land in the inbox. Google, piss easy. You can easily land in every single Google. So for some reason, why people are telling you in their communities, which I've heard a lot about, to sign up to Google Workspace is absolutely pointless. Please don't do it. Use this infrastructure instead. It will get you exactly the same as no, it won't. It will get you much better results. You'll land in every single Google inbox. Outlook's a little bit tougher, but it's a sort of hit and miss at the moment. But that's the thing. Templates themselves and offers aren't what's going to get you clients. Landing in the inbox is. And that's why the people who actually know this stuff and understand this stuff will beat the people that don't and will do it a hell of a lot quicker too. If you guys don't know me, I'm Ben. The no fluff, no guru nonsense, just real systems that actually work. I'll see you in the next one.